Welcome back, friends. Several folks have written in and said, hey, can you tell us what you like and you dislike about the Cybertruck? So I decided to put together this little short video so we could talk about my five likes and dislikes of the Cybertruck. Let's start with the dislikes. My number one dislike of the Cybertruck is there's no handle by the doors to grab onto to get in and out of the Cybertruck. Sure wish Tesla would look into putting some handles inside the door to make it easier for an old man like myself to get into the truck. The second thing I don't like are the high sides to the bed. It makes it real difficult to reach over and try to get any cargo in the bed. My third and most dreaded dislike about the Cybertruck is the lack of rear visibility. Note that when the tonneau cover is down, there's no view out through the rear glass. My fourth dislike is the lack of any stalks for turn signals on the steering column. It does have buttons for setting your turn signals, but the problem is if you have your wheel turned, it's a little hard sometimes to find the right button when you need it. My fifth dislike about the Cybertruck is the lack of a instrument panel in front of the driver. There's no heads up display or any indicators that are in the sight of looking at the road. Every time I need to do something with the truck, I have to take my gaze off of the road and look to the right and down. And when you're old like me, those spots are pretty hard to see even though it's a very nice and large display. I wish Tesla could correct that, especially for us older drivers that need to keep our eyes looking forward. So now let's talk about the things that I really like about the Cybertruck. The number one thing that I like so much about the Cybertruck is the driving experience. It's quiet, it's smooth, and it's a solid ride. It is actually extremely fun to drive and very enjoyable. The second thing I like about driving the Cybertruck is the single pedal driving. I love being able to just use the accelerator for going forward and for slowing down and rarely having to hit the brake. I definitely like the single pedal driving. The third thing I really like about the Cybertruck is the auto park feature. As you've already heard, I dislike not having any rear visibility, but this makes up for it as you can provide you with assistance in getting into parking spaces. And it works pretty darn well in spite of the fact that I'm not able to see what I'm backing into. My fourth favorite feature of the Cybertruck is the full self-driving supervised software. Since it came out a couple of weeks ago, it has really changed my mind about the Cybertruck. While it isn't perfect or autonomous, it sure is a nice uh, co-pilot to have when you're making long trips. I've made trips over two and a half hours on the highway, and except for a couple of times where I had to intervene, Full self-driving supervised has handled all of my lane maintenance, speed control, navigation for the trip. That is such a relief to take some of the pressure off your legs and arms when you're driving a long distance. My fifth favorite thing is the steer by wire and the rear wheel steering. Note that the rear wheels at slow speeds counter to the front wheels to tighten up those turning radius for your car. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video today and uh, listening and hearing about some of my favorite features and favorite and things I don't like so much. So if you have a chance to get in a Cybertruck, take a test drive, let me know what you think about the Cybertruck and what its design features that you like and dislike as well. Thanks for watching.